That is going to be interesting. But here we go. This is top 32 randoms. Game one, Jordan versus Kusanagi. <laughs> and we got Zelda versus Kirby. This is how we're starting things. This is how I like the, the reactions that are coming out, too. Is like sometimes you just see uh, the characters pop up. And like, you know, for those people who don't practice characters like Bayonetta or something like that, they're just like, oh, no. But yeah, uh, you, you normally see them like shaking their heads or kind of just like drop yeah. down in defeat. Cause they <laughs> it's usually a good time. But Zelda, I mean, both of these characters are honestly not bad picks. They both have uh, some combos that you kind of need to just, you know, practice once or twice to kind of figure out what, they, uh, what they're capable of. But both of them are pretty straightforward in their game plans, too. So I think both these guys should be able to put on a pretty solid show. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously you can see there already uh, the Zelda just kind of just playing their own game. Sound like that banter as well. But Kirby as well, equally a very, very simple character. Just kind of keeping the distance there, going for the inhale as well, trying to get something going, but not getting anything going just yet. Mm -hmm. And Kirby's uh, been a character of some discussion lately too. I mean, a lot of people kind of agreed that he was a low tier for the longest time, but honestly, this character is a lot better than people give him credit for. He's got great combos, and as you can see, some pretty solid kill power too, getting that forward smash all the way across the stage. Yeah, okay, and Kirby's just trying to live here as well. Dane Hale finally coming out, so going to get use of that and very annoying neutral B being able to reflect things. And that's going to be actually quite important if they don't die to a <laughs> forward air. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, definitely relatively even across the board right now. Trying to go for that dash attack can two frame, but it also, like, when you dash attack at the ledge, it lasts forever. So if they do a neutral get up when they think it's safe, it probably won't be. Yeah, Kuznagi trying to get something going, but just let me snuff that by the neutral air and Jordan. Now it's starting to just find something, but immediately again snuffed out by Kusanagi. Who just came distance, finding a way in. Good parry as well. Jordan gonna find a small opening here. Send out that Phantom as well, but again, Kusanagi with the Kirby just got so all these jumps could just maneuver around. Yep, that's one of those moves you gotta be careful of when you're trying to challenge Kirby up there. I mean, it's a move that's easily punchable, but if you're way too aggressive, that could definitely take a stock a lot earlier than you intended to take. But as we can see, Jordan trying to put him off stage. And you got to be careful that night, too, because that swing's so high up, it will catch you on that platform. Hey, Kuznagi trying to get, you know, just a little bit more of a lead here. 41 free damage here. Jordan really going to have to try and find this stock. But Kuznagi starting to walk away with this one. This is a lot of damage being piled on. It's not really stopping, but finally the up B going to come out. And that move is a dummy strong and just going to eliminate that Kirby. Finally, go take us down to the last stocks. Yeah, it definitely helps too with Kirby being one of the lightest characters in the game. Zelda does have some extraordinary kill power outside of that as well. So I mean, Kusanagi, they're they're in a solid position right now, but they're not in a position that's guaranteed a win. So they do have to be very careful. Yeah, they're going for that smash. They're down. It does come out. That does confirm. But gonna miss the grab there. Trying to go for foot smash. It just goes through the phantom. <laughs> what actually happened is he had the spot dodge down correctly. Yeah. But because of the hitbox extension on the Phantom. Yeah. That's actually what allowed them to get that stock. So that was actually just really cool. <laughs> They're both having a good time up there. Okay, so that is game one going to Kusanaga there with the Kirby. Looking strong, honestly. Considering these are all randoms, you're potentially going to get a character that you are not familiar with. But right. honestly, both of these like showing yeah, powers with a lot of these characters here. Yeah, I mean, the Zelda definitely looked a little shaky. Um, mm. I mean, I think part of that is due to the fact that I, Kirby's just a really fun character in general. So I think that, you know, being able to pick him up is pretty, pretty easy to do. But um, this one should be interesting. Peach is a, and you know, Daisy, whatever. They're solid characters, right? They're very, very good. But you kind of have to put a bit more practice in them to make them work. And Lucas, also a bit awkward, but, like, he's also kind of, like, new friendly if you just kind of play really late. <laughs> yeah, Lucas kind of has more of a simplified game plan. He's got those moves that obviously you know are going to do well. You, I mean, you could just watch any sort of good Lucas to know that right. you could just go for things like down smash at ledge and it's probably going to kill someone. Right. But definitely with Peach Daisy, they're very much tentacle characters. You Obviously you've got this sort of bread and butter. You've got things like the down air into the back air, a uh, down into the back air. You obviously know to flow. You've got the forward air, which is a strong kill move. But Definitely, like, trying to follow all of those hits together and, like, connecting things is going to be the key thing here. Yeah, but there we go. We got the forward throw off stage. Oh, that's one turn up. But Lucas can recover very, very uh, far. But as you can see, uh, does have one. <laughs> 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 what is going on there? <laughs> They're both just floating down to the desk. So we're going to even start. It's basically just a two-star game at this point. Yep. Jordan again started here. But actually... Really, like we were talking before about like some players will not know, that, you know, how to actually combo with Peach Daisy, mm -hmm. especially if you don't main them. 
But Jordan actually doing something a little bit custy there. Yeah, I mean, he's probably messed with him once or twice. I mean, when you are, like, one of the better players in the country, too, like, it's easy for you to kind of pick up some stuff. You know how some characters work because you have to play against them so often, probably. So he probably has a good idea. I mean, technical skills definitely got to be there for a little bit. But it's kind of like what we were talking about. I mean, there's a lot of high execution for this character. But with Lucas, too, like, it's got a low skill floor, but a high skill ceiling for, like, that really uh, extraordinary stuff. But as you can see right there, taking that second stock, Jordan's looking pretty solid. Yeah, Jordan going to be just getting a lot of free damage here. Gets the grab and into the back here as well. That's 36 already tacked on. Avoiding that grab as well. Jordan just really sort of just playing a little bit more. Sort of defensively keeping himself out of that range that Lucas has. Mm -hmm. All right. There you have Just trying to throw those aerials. That back air, it's definitely really solid. But you got to make sure you have that timing just right if you want that hit that really matters. Okay. Jordan just trying to get something a little bit going, but Kuznagi like, a little bit struggling here to actually find the kill. Gonna get grabbed as well. That is a triple digits now. They are being inflicted by, and this Daisy is not oh. slowing down in the slightest, and oh. you're not coming back either. <laughs> okay. Okay, Jordan definitely showcasing that he knows how to play this character a little bit. We saw some of those turnaround float cancels at the end. Yeah. Uh, he actually did that turnaround float cancel back air. Uh, also, Z dropping the turn up at the same time, which allowed him to hit, hit that turn up to kind of keep him pushed off. And then closing out with that side B. I was, I was pretty slick. Was it pretty was slick. looking good. That beats Daisy. Honestly, if we didn't know this was randoms, that was looking strong. Yeah, he definitely looked like a, a solid, uh, you know, I made top 128. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In just singles, but ooh. Ah, yeah, ah here we tough. go. Yep. Here we go. This is what we were expecting with randoms. Pichu versus Duck Hunt. Yeah, Pichu definitely was one of those characters at the beginning of alt. Was an absolutely monstrous glass cannon. Uh, a lot more cannon than glass, to be honest. But, uh, I mean, still a relatively straightforward character to play as well. Strong combos, uh, lots of damage. But Duck Hunt, this is as awkward as it gets. Yeah, I mean, when you're playing against uh, Duck Hunt and you don't know the how to actually play him, it is kind of just a simple case. You might get stuck in just like, okay, for can, uh, we've got, we've got the Frisbee. But, like, you don't actually know many of the proper combos mm -hmm. with this character. Okay, oh. Okay, there we go. Gets the back throw. Yep, definitely look for that back there. Trying to fall. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes it be your own can. See, he, that was that was layers on top of layers of just <laughs> really smart gameplay. I'm sure, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was just so unfortunate. They're getting caught by the own can. Uh, but who's not getting? Now Jordan now just trying to get more and more damage free. The combo as well. The, the back is all just connected into each other. This is all a lot of damage being piled on. We talked some earlier about you know, being the class cannon and. This little mouse does hit hard. Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, and even like, you know, at the beginning of the game, too, when that forward tilt was uh, the way it was, man, that forward tilt was probably the best move in the game. Like, let's be real here. That thing was messed up. But even then, you know, even with all the nerfs that it had received, it's still a really good character. Pichu's still very solid. Just not as free and easy as it used to be. That was an unfortunate up smash, man. That platform just being a little too high. And we are starting to see something truly, truly unprecedented here. A Pichu at 173%. This mouse refuses to go down. And Kusanagi just struggling to find that final hit that they need. Meanwhile, obviously Jordan just getting all of this damage piled on. That is triple digits now on Kusanagi. And still, the mouse does not go down. 193%. We are nearly that 200% mark. How do you get Pichu up this high? This is actually really insane. And that's, okay, not quite 200% yet, but... Yep, there, there it is. is. <laughs> Man, dude, all, oh my <laughs> god, this is just not looking good for Kusanagi. I mean, Jordan definitely seems to know what they're doing a little bit here, but like, I think the other side of it too is just the duck hunt inexperience, just not knowing what moves exactly work. But when you play against someone like Pichu, again, who is just a bit more straightforward than a duck hunt, it, it's really tough to try and get those stocks out of the way. Absolutely. I mean, we could just see Jordan just going for those like up tilts and just connecting to more up tilts into the back airs, everything like that. It's just such a kind of more of a simple game plan. But you can see Kusanagi really is struggling to know what to do here with this character. Obviously, you got you phone out the can, you got the uh, the down B with the uh, guns as well, but. It's looking tough. Yeah, it's not looking too good. I do like that spot dodge there, though, trying to see if there's a grab was going to come out. Forward tilt potentially coming out after that, too. Looking for the spike, and that is a really active spike, too. Oh, my <laughs> God. I forget that that down smash works that way. Yeah, especially on Pichu as well, being such a light character. Just going to be obliterated by that <laughs> down smash. Finally going down to even stars. But this is still a bit of a hill to climb here for Kusunag. They've got to get something going before this mouse can seal up the final slot and seal up the set as well. Yep, okay, but there we go. Gets the down tilt into the nair. Again, just kind of rack up damage. I mean, I want to see how much damage at the end that Jordan did to himself compared to how much Kusanagi's actually done. I feel like that first stock especially. Yeah. Gotta be sailing. <laughs> but there we go. 
We are yep. going to see the Pichu taking the dub in the end. And that is Jordan moving on in 